gonna fall. Oh, this marker is useless. It doesn't have any ink at all. Wow, what a waste. Anyways, today, uh, before I begin this video, your boy is go going to Johor Bahru when uh, it's from the 20th. Oh, I mean like, by the time you already watched the video, it's probably like my second day in Johor Bahru, so who cares really? If you can see, your boy is recording through this car because Brendan wants to see the whole stuff, so if the video is really pitch and stuff, it's going to be <laughs> my fault and stuff. Very epic. So basically, uh, what I'm trying to say here is that uh, I bought some items recently from Hong Kong. Uh, it's from this company from, called Tiny. If you don't know who's Tiny, if you don't know what is Tiny. Tiny is basically a a company that makes uh, model buses. They have been very popular recently, and it's really up to scale and it's really epic. So yeah, uh, that's what I'm trying to say in the video. So yeah. Okay, anyways, uh, to first talk about what was inside the package. So here we got a few stuff, we got some Hong Kong, we got mostly Hong Kong buses. That I don't think most people enjoy, but anyways, let's just begin. First off, right in the box we got this paper. Let me see. Oh, epic, it's all of my order. Section is like literally like all the all my here. One thing that everyone should know: this is the Man A95 from Hong Kong. Uh, pretty epic. Uh, it's one of those epic. buses. It's a Man A95. I know people. Should know. What would you not know about Man A95? So let's just let's open it up. Nice. I also didn't see this happening. They have like this brand new epic hologram. Yeah, I don't know, it's, it's very blurry on the top, but I can probably see it. The box is always thicker as usual, so that's something. Let's try to open it. And, wow, hey, Lemma, look at that, high SES bus. So here you can see, it's the bus, pretty epic. It's like a, and the bus, UL, it's based on the UL3781 running. So the next bus is going to be another very familiar one. The next bus should be another very familiar one, actually not so much. This one. This is the Volvo Olympian. The Volvo Olympian, unlike the ones that we have in Singapore, is slightly different. We have like two, two doors in the front and two doors in the back, while in Hong Kong, they only have one door in the front and one door behind. So that's a very big difference that you all will actually see. Hey, Lamao. Yeah. Boom. To be honest, this is one of those bars I've actually anticipated this year, partly because they kept releasing pictures of it on Instagram and stuff, and I'm like, oh, well, what are they gonna do? And at one point, the website closed. <laughs> the the pre-order for the bus, the website page was actually closed, so it was sad. <laughs> to compare it, because it's totally different. This is the one from uh, Best Chosen. Generic brand, I don't know. So make this. They also make glass. They also make like the same exact box. It's the tiny one, slightly larger than the. The wheels are a lot more thicker for the tiny one than the best choose one. It's gonna be a very common thing later in the video where. The one based off best choose is based off uh, GW7052 running on service 115. And then here, the other one is uh, 72X2. Uh, typo Central. The only different best shoes, they do not have the official logo. Hey, Lamau. Do you want the E500 to be reviewed or do you want the Dennis Trident to be reviewed instead? Next. Uh, Dennis Trident. Okay, good. Quickly, the next item we're gonna be uh, is Dennis Trident. This was actually released last month in October. This is the LWB Dennis Trident Duplo Medsec. Oh my god, I ruined the box again. How many boxes? Oh my gosh. Uh, if you didn't hear what I just said, this box was actually. Front, 
is based why the hell is all the registration numbers higher than usual the position is so off anyways yeah this is actually first early talk about is this the 84th anniversary d500 and then you can realize that the design is slightly different and yeah it's part of the design boys this is actually released last year uh, the bus was actually available in real life last year this is a model that was released this year i actually like there's a 85th anniversary version for the e400 nmc but i didn't get it because it was very bad it was ass cancer i'm not getting it this one's slightly bad so so let's unbox it yeah oh oh, oh, oh this is slightly different it comes in this paper package Ooh. So that's kind of unique, but the thing is that the bottom is already torn off, like one bit. <laughs> so here's the boss, pretty epic. Is this really nice printing? I wish they could have done this for earlier bosses. Anyways, uh, they didn't do this for the bad boss thing that they made, like in 2017. Also, as of making this video, this is the kind of way that I can draw E500. Anyways, uh, let's compare it with a slightly different. So anyways, let's compare it with this uh, E500 MMC from ATM Bus Shot here. It's in a slightly large bit. Yeah, because, I don't know. So let's compare it from the chassis. Once again, you can see here, the wheels for the tiny one is more thicker than the one from ATM Bus Shot. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Once again, the more thicker than usual. Epic. Stop. And this one is based on <coughs> SB5197 for service 96 to uh oh my god or what I can So epic now uh, let's talk about fast the one gives a shot uh, starting up with this Tran SBU's Enviro 500 because of the bus in shut in 284 where this bus is like the AI bus bus that kept driving and pissing you off in game yeah, let's unbox this bus. What the hell? <laughs> it's half red. It's half red. We <laughs> did half red. What the? Hang on, it's not wrapped properly on both sides. This is hell. Here's the E5. Here's the. Anyway, here's the trans bus E5. <laughs> this is before the trans bus was renamed to Dennis. I mean. And and it's another story. See, this is pretty epic. Nice bus. It's based on LM8782. And it's the crew bus. Last but not least, I don't know who gives a crap about this. But this is actually the most expensive item that is over here. The whole thing costs about $120. I mean, except this and this and this. But the whole purchase costs $120 with shipping. So yeah. And this thing itself costs a bloody $100. And apparently this one doesn't even come with wrapping, so I'm just gonna open this up. This is the Doraemon B9TL, you can see that it's kind of based on a bright Gemini 2 chassis, something that people are very sad about because the whole company collapsed. And Ooh. this is like the same thing as this can be Doraemon stuff, and this is actually licensed. Still, I'm gonna compare it with an ATM B9TL. If you can see here, the bus is still small, the wheels are small, everything is smaller than this bus. I'm just. <sighs> this thing is tiring. Anyways, I'm gonna do a bit of jump cut to do a short display of all of these buses in so called action, like what Brendan does every time in the buses in action video. It's not River Gun, it's not North Coast, it's real life with these smaller buses. Anyways, thanks for watching, uh, and we will see you in the next video. Normal video will, uh, re will return next week with more special videos, uh, with boss videos and Roblox videos. So yeah, please remember to like, subscribe, like what Brendan does, that side. And yeah, please remember to sub to Brendan and FD1019. <laughs> oh, it feels very bad for Brendan, he has to actually suffer this for like 40 minutes straight. Anyway. Thank you for watching this really epic video, uh, and I hope you kind of enjoy it, and hi, yes, <laughs> do comment hi. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, let's jump to, let's go to the jump cut now, thank you for watching, and we'll see, and we'll see you next time, bye.
Yes, finally, half an hour long. And now